Uh, Lloyd, what are we doing here just standing and looking at the ocean? Patience, guys. I know she's gonna be here any second. Wait, who's gonna be here, man? Something is approaching from the distance. Guys, check it out. This is Naya's new mech. We call it the Water Strider. Sweet, a new mech. I gotta go get mine. Mechs can be dangerous things if not operated properly. Ooh, what's this, a new mech? I'm sure the Ninjago Ninjas won't mind if I try it out. Don't worry, Zane. Naya's had extensive training on the Water Strider. She knows what she's doing. Surprise! I think I'll take this for a ride. Yeah! <laughs> what, what was that? It might have been one of the dolphins splashing around. Now, let's see. How do I control this thing? Wait, what in Ninjago City is Naya doing? Hey, hey, whoa, look out! Ha ha ha, the Ninjago Ninjas don't know I'm up here yet. What is going on and where is Naya going with the mech? Oh no, Naya! Well, wait a minute, if you're not piloting the mech, then... Ha, huh, it's me, read it and wave. Garmadon, I should have known. Well, oh yeah, take that, 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 hi yes, yeah, 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 take that and that. Hey, hey, stop messing with that foot. Uh, where's the controls for the water cannon? Whoa! Ha ha, it looks like all the Ninjago Ninjas are down. Hey, wait a minute. Where's the Red Ninja? He was here five minutes ago. One right here, Gormadon. And you've stolen too many of our mechs in the past. It's time to pay. Why don't you take this, 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 this. No, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. Stop kicking my mech. It's not your mech, but since you brought that up, if you don't like kicking, how about hitting? Hey, hey, stop that! Stop that! That's it, you're getting the water cannon! Oh, yeah? Give up, Fire Ninja! You can't beat the water match! Huh! Fire makes all of your water turn to steam! Whoa! Whoa! Hey, look at that! At least I still got my jet ski! I guess they win this round, but I'll be back! Till next time, Ninjago nerds! Hey, thanks for watching. The toy featured in this video is brand new. The Lego Ninjago movie Water Strider. Super cool, 494 pieces for ages eight to 14 and it comes with four little minifigures. We've got Naya, Kai, got this little shark army guy and then this guy's name is Puffer. So this is like a, a newer guy. And this was provided to us by Warner Brothers Consumer uh, Products and the Lego Ninjago movie. I'm pretty sure this is in the movie somewhere, I just don't remember seeing it, but this is like one of the Ninjago Ninja mechs. This is Naya's mech, and I think Naya is called the Gray Ninja or the Water Ninja, something like that. But let's open it up, check it out, and see how cool it is. Now another thing is the instructions right here. 
So here are, it's just one booklet of instructions, super easy, and uh, it's pretty fast. I was able to build it within an hour. So here is the water strider fully built. You can see how big it is compared to our mini figures here. So I really like the Ninjago mechs because uh, they are life size to how they would be in the movie that we saw. Now let's first check out our mini figures and we have Naya here and she is also the gray ninja or the water ninja it's it's uh, one of those two but dressed up really cool kind of looks like the the rest of the ninjas here it's cool because you've got this like little different like chainmail skirt on the bottom here this is kind of tough to put on but pretty cool so she's got the the gray color you can see all over the place now i think she's got two uh, these heads are for whatever reason, the Ninjago heads are like very, very difficult to, uh, to take off and everything. She's got two faces. Here's the first one, and here is the second one. They kind of look similar, don't they? Yeah, anyway, she's got two faces that look very similar to one another. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but once we cover uh, her face, you can't really see her her mouth or her expressions anymore. This is cool though, a great design. And then on the back hand side, this is the symbol and then just uh, black pants as well. And she also comes with this, we're gonna call it an accessory, but this is her weapon. It's a spear, pretty cool. And then she has this uh, little tassel hanging on the end of it. So this is Naya. Next we have Kai. And Kai, w there's a, there's been a lot of Kais. It's interesting because I feel like there are more available Kai uh, Red Ninjas out there than there are the Green Ninja, and he, the Green Ninja is the main guy. So Kai, this uh, this is pretty typical. This is kind of um, what all of the other outfits look like. So he's got his his red outfit here, his red bandana, of course his mask on and everything. But the difference is, this is the first time that he has like a sword holder on the back. So they give us three swords, uh, but you probably should only have two, and so you can put two back there. But I just gave him all three because it looks pretty cool. He could even stand to have a fourth sword, we could just put it in this hand as well. So Kai is pretty awesome. Now let's check out this uh, guy right here. This is the Puffer and the hat is what makes this outfit. This is super cool, so you can see that it's a puffer fish on his head, and um, very, very interesting. So we take this off, I think he's got two faces. Nope, only one face. So this is, he's part of the shark army. There's tons of different types. There's like the hammerhead and the angler and the jelly river. So this is the puffer, a really cool guy. I, I like it because it's all like spiky and pokey. It reminds me of the Lisa Simpson hair. He has this oxygen tank, so he must be scuba diving then, you know, coming up out of the water. All of the shark army, they've got this crazy little fish thing and then <laughs> different things on top of it. This is like a, I guess some sort of club or mallet that he's using to like, he swings this around. So this puffer guy is pretty interesting, but the hat is really what makes it. Last but not least, we just have a shark army henchman. Not much, uh, not much stuff about here. He has a lot of detail on his, uh, on his shirt. It's got, you see those pockets, you see the uh, little straps on here. He also has a really cool patch over his eye, like a real pile, like arr. And he's got this fish. We've seen these these types of weapons before, the fish handle with the little, um, you can call it a tooth or something, or a curved spike on top, and then he just has this, this beanie on there. It almost looks like he parachuted in because of all of the connections on his back. Now let's check out the main feature, the water strider itself. And this is pretty cool. It's it's kind of difficult to show it because we have this capsule up here. This is gonna be like the cockpit area. And then we have these really long legs. So this should be able to walk on water because it's called the water strider. I'm not sure that it, I mean, not the actual toy. This does not float or walk on water, but just uh, when we're pretending, maybe it should be able to walk on water. The first thing that I wanna show are these legs itself. South. I can get it in the proper thing. So each of the legs, they have these stickers on them that say Strider on them. So that's pretty cool. And the feet themselves are cool. So the feet, there's tons of points of articulation. 
The feet can be twisted around like this. There's this hose. This hose really doesn't do anything, but it just makes it look like it's hydraulic fluid running from here to here to be able to manipulate and actuate this foot. As it moves around, look, it looks like it's got like huge suction cups on the, uh, the bottom here, which allows it to possibly walk on water. And these foots, because it's connected with a ball and cup right there, it can just be twisted all around like zzzz, like that. Now also the legs, the legs each can be pivoted. So it can be pivoted down like this. And I think, I think, I don't know how far it goes. Okay, it goes about this far. Yep, I've reached the maximum limit. And then we can also pivot it out. And I think pivot it up like this as well. So you could even have the water strider kind of stand upside down like this if you wanted to, if we placed all four legs like this. So I think that's pretty cool. And this, you, you can hear it, it snaps into place each position that we take. So there's probably about 10, 12 different positions that this can take. The, the tough thing is, the, the good thing, here's the good news, is that it's really, really sturdy. These things aren't gonna break off very easy and there's not really any pieces that can break off. The bad thing is that this thing doesn't twist around. So it doesn't like, you know, it, this leg doesn't move at all. It just can be pivoted right here and then right there. So a couple points of articulation. And the same thing, all the legs are the exact same, so they do the same thing. Now, this cockpit area, this is cool because this can turn. 360 degrees all the way around just like that so that's pretty simple so let's focus on this center console area first we have these um, I don't know what these are supposed to do maybe they are transmitters of some sort but you can pivot these little things back and forth there's two on the other side that do the exact same thing here we have these cords over here and this is made to look like this is a hydraulic line as well as some type of hydraulic fluid. These, these little shields or whatever they are can be pivoted up and down. You can kind of move them around in this, you know, backwards a little bit, forwards a little bit and up and down. Then we have these little flags and these flags are cool. You, you gotta put all the stickers on them. All of the mechs have these flags. So there are two of these and it looks exactly the same on the other sides. Then you've got one in the middle like this. And you can probably turn them like this or back the other way and kind of pivot them up. It's interesting that they have these flags they don't really you know, do much to them. Here we have uh, these little things. They don't shoot out, but they're made to look like little shooters. And then we have the cockpit area itself. And it's interesting, this doesn't pivot open. You just have to pull this off altogether to put in maybe one of the ninjas. So I'm gonna put Naya in here, given this is her mech, and have her sit down. So she can be placed in the sitting position. And these are little controllers you can like twist towards her and then put this whole thing back on just like this just connect it and we are good to go so now she is in the driver's seat you can see it looks pretty cool and we have this this shooter out here this is a uh, six piece little shooter these things do shoot off i don't know if you've seen these many times but they're around and then we have these things they can kind of pivot outwards these are meant to look like shooters but they don't do anything other than just pivot like this on the other side, it's the exact same thing. So now what we can do is we can shoot these things. And the way to do that is we turn this, this thing. If you turn it over, it's gonna shoot off all these, these little blocks here. So we can try it. They just, these things shoot far, so you don't wanna lose them. Let's, uh, let's go like this. So you can sort of see it as I turn it. Okay, so one shot off, you can see right there. Try another one. Now, now the next one shot off, and so you can shoot all six of them, but they do shoot kind of far, and then they're so tiny that you can definitely lose them. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Toys Review Toys channel. Let me know in the comments which one of these mini figures is your favorite. This is the Shark Army Minion guy. Is it this guy? Is it Naya or is it Kai? And then tap or click on a picture to watch another fun video. Have a great day.